Hey guys, as you can see, I am back in the office uh, for the first time this week. And yesterday I got into the gym, uh, had to get out of the house. Cabin fever was overwhelming. Had to get away from the kids. I love them, but I had to get away from them. And I was chatting uh, with another guy at the gym, who's a friend of mine. And uh, we were talking about all sorts of stuff, but we ended up talking about like a shared love of food documentaries. Um, and so my guilty pleasure, if Tay has like Bible study or she's away with the girls, is I'm throwing on a chef's table or somebody feed Phil or something along those lines because I just love good food and I love watching food being made. Anyway, we talked for like 30 minutes. We were just trading recommendations about food shows and restaurants and all this stuff. And, uh, and it just something I've been thinking about lately is uh, this transition that happens from when something is just useful to beautiful. Um, so for instance, food. Food is fuel for our bodies at its most basic form. It's like, I eat, it gives me energy, it gives me nutrients, I can survive. But you, food is also tasty. It's, get, we can enjoy the taste and the flavor of it, um, which we didn't have to, but we get to. And it can be beautiful. It can be totally be art. Um, if you've ever had a meal at a great restaurant and they bring to the table and it's this like incredible presentation. Um, so when food is art, and when food is beautiful, it has the ability to transcend just being fuel to be something that is enjoyable and pleasing and beautiful and it brings people together. So it's like exponentially more than just its basic carbs, fat, protein um, essence. And so I think about that with work and with business and I've been thinking about something I've been pondering is what I'm calling beautiful businesses businesses that are way more than the sum of their parts, like way more than just the product or the service that they provide to you as a consumer, like that they have raving fans and that their impact greatly exceeds like what they just do. Um, and that they are creating something so beautiful that it is having an impact on the community. So I'll give you a for instance, last night, my youngest Hawkins, is right now we're fighting him over eating his food. So we have a little squeeze bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce in our fridge that I'll squeeze on his plate so that he'll eat his chicken, he'll dip it in there. And I was looking at the squeeze bottle and I, it says on the squeeze bottle, um, hey, every 100% of the profits of the squeeze bottle go to pay for scholarships for our team members. So they, Chick-fil-A has decided to put this squeeze bottle of their sauce out into the world and they're making no profit off of it, it's going to fund scholarships for their people. It's like, beautiful business, beautiful business. Um, it is a generous act to the community. And so I've been thinking about beautiful businesses this week and other beautiful businesses that exist. And there's a handful, I'm not gonna spoil uh, any more for you, but I would love for you to email me any beautiful businesses that you come in contact with or come to mind for you. And I put some criteria in the email. Would love to hear your thoughts. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ransomed <some> going. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Did you hate that? <laughs>